I've been many things in my life. I've been a single mother, married with two children, a businesswoman, and an activist. However, while I am all these things, I couldn't quite tell my story without mentioning my son Nikosi. There was a time in my life when I needed something more. My marriage was failing, and at this time in my life, I'd helped set up a shelter for homosexual men living with HIV and AIDS in Johannesburg. I wasn't naive in believing that I could cure this disease by any means, but what little I could do to offer support and assistance, I would. It was there that I met this little boy and his mother, who had then walked into my life, changing my purpose forever. She had traveled a long way and came seeking support for her little son. We'd explained that the guest house had served males infected with the HIV virus, and she understood this. She said that her little Nikosi did indeed have AIDS, and that she had given him this disease at birth, and that she too was dying. It was from that moment on that I began to care for this little boy as if he was my own. And in a way he was, and while we were not from the same blood, we had come from the same heart. We both had a fighting spirit about us, him more so than anyone I had ever met before. This child was born a fighter from the moment he entered into this world. He was born into poverty, to a single mother of two, and being born with AIDS, he had a life sentence. After a year, we ran out of resources and funding for the shelter, and it was determined that Nikosi's best chance to live was with me and my family, as his mother's health was deteriorating due to this disease. It was now that I found myself as a mother to the most courageous little boy. The doctors told me that my little warrior was living on borrowed time, and I tried to make his life as normal as possible. When he wanted to go to school, I enrolled him. However, the parents were fearful for my son and his disease. They didn't want him in school with their children, and I fought like hell, and eventually we changed the laws. Now, no one could discriminate against children with AIDS from attending school. Everyone he met, he met with a smile on his face. No matter how much pain he was in, he was determined to keep on living. And at the age of eight, he attended his mother's funeral. And for the first time, I could tell he understood his ultimate fate. And as a child, he shouldn't have to worry about this. But there was nothing I could do. All his questions, I didn't have answers to. And there was many times where I wish I had. I couldn't tell him why this disease existed, nor more than I could stop it from happening. I had never hated anything else more in my life. But that was the reality of it. We had made a deal, and if he was willing to keep on fighting, so was I. And in his toughest moments, he spoke for those like him and used his voice to make a difference. He was determined to show the world that he was not different from anyone else in the world and shouldn't be treated any differently due to his disease. Eventually, our time together came to an end, and it was one of the hardest moments of my life. But my little warrior was fighting until the very end, and in fact, he had lived longer than any child in his condition. And while Nikosi was the one child that made the difference in my life, there were still millions fighting his same fight. And for as long as there are children dying of AIDS, I will have a story to tell. Nikosi's story.